Howdy gang. Uh, hey, I'm gonna do a quick update here. Um, I think it's the seventh today. I kind of lose track when I'm on the road. I just want to show you real quick. There's a little bit of traffic on that interstate back there. Not a lot. You can see some trucks getting off. A few cars here and there, but really, it is really slow if you look at this. So anyway, I wanted to um, just do a quick update can't really see the screen so I'm gonna jump in here in the shade a little bit um, I want to do a quick update on I got an idea here the last two updates I did wound up really being kind of a study and uh, I really if I'm doing an update I really don't want to turn it into a study uh, because some people that are looking for just an update on what's going on out here on the road um, They're not really ready to spend 30 minutes behind, you know, checking out a video. So I think what I'm going to do is separate uh, Road updates from You know from some studies and I didn't really even intend to do these studies uh, but you know, some people have wondered well, why I'm not doing any uh, studies on my channel on the unspoken truth, some of the longer ones. Well, it's because I'm out here on the road. I'm driving out here, and um, I just can't get back in town, especially now, um, to, to do those record, you know, those videos. And they're deeper. If you haven't checked them out, it'd be great if you check them out. Um, but there's they're just deeper longer studies they take some preparation and I just can't do that on the road certainly can't get back home into the studio where I can do them but you know what while I'm out here on the road I figured I might as well make use of it and uh, as best I can and I'm just gonna start doing some studies on the road but I'm gonna separate them from the road updates like this one uh, I might mention a scripture here and there in in a road update things that are on my mind or something but I'm gonna I'm not gonna get into the deep studies in these update videos I'm gonna do those separately and so what I'm thinking of is I'm thinking of doing I guess a series I mean when I do these studies I'm gonna classify them or title them uh, under the name road scholar and I was thinking road student but road scholar and it's not talking about me like I'm some sort of scholar this is I'm talking about bringing God's word to to all of you from the road and we're all going to be scholars we're going to get back into God's word during this time of crisis and because uh, that's what we're supposed to do now listen there are a lot of people evangelists that are I mean they have some great videos they are on fire for God and for his word and I've watched a couple several of them today or listened to several of them today I really should am not watching going down the road you know I would never do that anyway but I uh, I've listened to quite a few of them today and they're really on fire and I love it and we do need to speak boldly about God's word and uh, we need to proclaim it to the world and we can't be afraid in this time I mean the the ones that should be fearful are the adversary because their day is coming we do have the victory but with that said I wanted to say that I, I look at there are a couple different types of servants of our father and evangelists are one and is on fire as they are and as as much as they drive people just like they drive them like wake them up you know if those people do not get into our father's word and they just go and listen to a bold speaking message all the time they're not learning who God is so as much as we have evangelists and that is a great instrumental part of the body of Christ we have to have those that can that can bring people draw them into the word and 
literally teach them or show them how how to study for themselves and really dig into the meat of our father's word and I guess maybe I'm kind of one of those where the father's blessed me with a way to deliver his message but it's different than to than an evangelist they are blessed with a way to deliver his message as well it just serves us sort of a different purpose the purpose is to maybe for an evangelist is to wake people up and you know tell them remind them that they have to get back into our father's word but for um a teacher student a scholar or whatever it is it is actually bringing them through the word and showing them what it says so we're all part of the body of christ and these are very both instrumental roles in our father's plan so i'm going to actually take advantage of my time here on the road while i'm out here driving because i can't get back in the studio and do any videos i'm going to do some short studies i'm going to try and keep them a half an hour something like that probably going to call it road scholar um and, and again it has really nothing to do with me it has everything to do with you you are the road scholar and if you are not feel familiar with the meat of our father's word this is the right place to be because we're gonna we're gonna bring you into it to show you how you can study for yourself how we relate things in scripture and how we know i mean how we prove it so anyway i just want to make that update here i want to know what you guys think of that i was thinking like i said road student but i don't know i thought you know bill clinton was a road scholar we're going to show them what it really means to be a road scholar all right so as long as i'm on the road i'm taking you guys with me and we are going to study god's word and uh sometimes i'm going to look pretty scuzzy like i like i do right now i mean really i'm looking pretty rough grizzly adams ish so but bear with me man i'm not here to i'm not here to uh look presentable just be presentable and i just lift it up to the father and ask for his blessings on it i really do appreciate your feedback on on anything i'm posting right now i mean it's an outpouring of support so i'm, I'm grateful for it and there's another one coming in right now <laughs> so hey listen gang just stay tuned for it and listen we're going to get through this together we have the victory even if we're going into globalism and the one world system be not afraid our father is in control he will take care of his children remember shadrach meshach and abednego i heard i heard two people bringing them up to in in a video in their videos today and that it's a perfect example. I brought it through, I, I mentioned it the other night that God can destroy everything around you and leave you absolutely unharmed. And uh, that's the truth. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego would not bow down and uh, participate in the Babylonian way. And they were thrown in the fire furnace. The furnace was heated seven times hotter than normal. And it fried the people that threw them in there. But they were unharmed. And Nebuchadnezzar looked in there and he's like, wow, I see four people. And one looks like the son of man. Or maybe it was the son of God. Anyway, don't quote me on it. But it was Christ that was with them. Walking in there in this tribulation. We are going through tribulation. Whether you like it or not. It's how we handle it. And we need to let that adversary know that we have the victory. So with that, I'm going to let it go. I'll talk to you guys later. Post this right now. And um, I don't know. We'll see you at the next update. God bless. Bye.